okay, hello. <laughs> ah, I haven't vlogged in a long time. Okay, um, I'm in Scotland right now. Hence the Scotland vlog. We arrived yesterday, but just stayed in Glasgow overnight. And it was a very long drive. And right now, we're kind of in a rush. I'm here with my mum. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to look at the Harry Potter bridge because there's a train coming over soon. And it's this bridge right there. I have just woken up this morning and I decided that I was going to sit outside and listen to the birds because we're in this really cute chalet um, in North Scotland at the moment and the view I have right now is so pretty there's just like fields and like if I shut up for a minute you could probably just hear the birds I'm reading this book that I got from, well, not I got, I borrowed from a friend in my Bible study in church <laughs> and I should probably give it back to him at some point. I'm so sorry, I'm still reading it. I'm like, I'm not even halfway through, <laughs> but it's so good though. Like I might actually buy myself a copy. I'm kind of taking a slight social media break at the moment for many different reasons. I say that, but like I'm posting, but just not really going on it. I feel like it's good to get some time away. It's nice, it's coming at a good time. I'm gonna read my book. My dad's very scared of heights, so this is proof that he can stand on the bridge. <laughs> I got my camera ready. Gonna take some pretty photos of this, of those mountains. I am freezing right now. We are currently doing a tiny bit of hiking. Would you call it hiking? We're walking to some fairy pools, but this is our view, going for a nice little walk. That is insane. So sick. Yeah, I am currently freezing. It feels like it's minus. So I'm just layered up. We're going to Fairy Pools. On our, uh, still on the Isle of Skye. I just feel like I'm living out my uh, secret life of Walter Mitty dreams right now. That film, although it was filmed in like Iceland or something, or was it Ireland? I can't remember. It just looks like this right now. Oh, it's pretty. This is my hiking app. Wait, <laughs> Oh. Was it on? Yeah, I think it is. Vlogception. Vlogception. <laughs> Hello, Juno. Vlogception. <laughs> There's a wedding happening. We're at a castle that's just on the outs, like the other side of the Isle of Skye. if it's too windy to hear me or not but right now um, we're at Apple Cross which I think is just north of the Isle of Skye I saw lots of deer and what I like to call a mini highland cow I know it's a calf <laughs> yeah I'm gonna go with that and we just had to go a mile and a half to a shop because like there's no food here this is probably 
One of the most rural places I've ever been in my entire life. And I love it. I'll show you the view. Wow. There's lots of sparkling on the water. <laughs> um, but this is the view. The drive over here was so pretty as well because we went along this like coastal path. There were like loads of vintage cars that were going past like Aston Martins and like retro minis and I was just like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. Because there was just so many. And I was like, oh, just fun girl. We were just on a car journey back and we've just come across some wild deer by the sea. It's massive. It's a starfish. Wow. Hello. Um, I have no idea what day it is. I've lost count. But we're at Dunrogan Castle. Ta-da! We're too stingy to go and pay for the castle and to go in the gardens. So we're just like walking around the outside and then you can see like some of the gardens through the gate. So we're just kind of living through that. That's what they look like. I don't know if it really looks worth it to pay to go in, to be honest, so we're just chilling, going for a walk. I didn't film anything yesterday because we had a really chill day. It was really rainy and I kind of just read my book on the kind of balcony thing of the chalet and didn't really do much. So yeah, but today we're having another chill day, but we're going to be going to Dornoch Beach later, which is where we went last time we came up to Scotland, um, which is a really pretty beach. I have just woken up from a nap and then I went and sat outside and read a book and just like listened to the birds again because that's become part of my daily routine now and I think we're probably gonna watch Pride and Prejudice again it's like the fourth time this week because it's the only DVD we have and I mean Pride and Prejudice is an amazing film so and then tomorrow is gonna be quite a hectic day so I'm gonna get an early night Scotland's been really fun so far it's just been a good mixture of like doing stuff, being active, seeing mountains and nature and everything and then also like just chilling, taking time away from like home and like reflecting and I don't know, it's just been really nice. I feel like it's come at like a time that I needed it. My hair probably looks very dishevelled because of my nap. I decided to just literally, I just straight up walked in and fell straight asleep. It is our last proper day in Scotland today because we're heading back home tomorrow even though we'll be doing stuff and right now we're in Ullapool. Yeah, there's not much here, it's very industrial so we're heading to more of Western Scotland now. I'm really not sure where we're going. I feel like we're just kind of driving and seeing if we come across anything. Um, so yeah, I don't know, it's actually sunny today so I feel like today's going to be a good day. <laughs> I can actually talk without there being too much wind, but we're at a beach. What's it called? Durnas. Um, oh, there's another dog. <laughs> um, and it's supposed to be a surf beach, but the waves are kind of dead. They kind of are in the UK full stop at the moment. So yeah, right now I'm in like a rock cave. Hello, do you know? Hello, do you know? very windy. Hello! Right now we are at Smoo Caves and this is what I'm looking at. You can see June over there. I'm gonna go 
find my parents and follow them. Okay, there's meant to be a waterfall up by here. Okay, so it's our last day and we're leaving the chalet this morning. So I thought I'd show what it looks like before we go. But yeah, so this is a balcony that I was sitting on for most of the time. And just going for walks around here and like there's like Highland cows just at the top of this road. I'm gonna miss this. Gina! Who's that? So right now we're in Aviemore. I think it's pronounced that, in the Cairngorms. Just having chips and curry sauce. <laughs> My bag. I'm literally gonna cry. It's it's so colourful. It's it's so it's so me. It's me in a bag form. I love the Cairngorms. It's literally like it feels like Canada. The most like Canadian place you can find in Britain is the Cairngorms. So of course I'm gonna love it. <laughs> Now we're in the Ken Gorms. I'm very happy if you can't already tell. I love this place so much. Video, we came here last like October and I, I, speechless, I love it so much. There's like the woods back there. We walk through and then there's a mountain over the lake. I wish I had my paddle board right now. That would be so fun. By far one of my favorite places in the UK, hands down. Also, if you're ever in Aviemore, go to Fat Face because there was the nicest shop worker girl there ever. She just kept complimenting my outfit and I was just like, thank you. I want to be your best friend. So <laughs> I feel like I might end the vlog now properly because we're just heading back home, going through Durham on the way back because I got family in Durham. So we're going to go visit them. Bye.